Hello everyone, welcome to the new session of advanced charting techniques. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to create GAN chart using MS Excel. First, let's see how this GAN chart looks. This is how your GAN chart looks. And here I have a simple one and a complex GAN chart. So before I start this video, so please do subscribe to our channel so that you'll get more interesting videos like this as well as click on the bell button which is next to your subscribe button so that you'll get the notifications of these interesting videos okay so i'll tell you how to start creating this gan charts so before that i'll just give a brief explanation of this gan chart gan chart is nothing but it's a timeline chart which is used by project management to see how their project is running okay fine project management charts means it will have some timelines the start date how many days it has taken to uh, finish these tasks we actually use a bar stack chart for creating this and it is very simple to create and there is nothing complex in creating a GAN chart so let's start learning how to create the GAN chart so we'll go to our excel sheet here as i showed you a simple one and a complex one so what i have done is i have created two different sheets which has got this data to create a similar kind of chart here fine okay now let's take this data so how to create this a simple gan chart you just have to select this data i have the tasks and i have the starting date and also i have the duration that is the number of days to complete this task now let me select this data go to insert and here let me select this stacked bar chart now i'll increase this chart so that it will be easy for me to work then next i have this tasks just select this the access values format access and then say categories in reverse order so that i'll get the tasks in the same order what i have in the data fine once i do this the x axis label will go on top so what i'll do is i'll go here i'll select this at maximum category that is horizontal axis click on this at maximum category see that will come down okay next what i'll do i don't want this shading that is for a start date select this right click format data series here go to this fill and say no fill done and you can see now the chart is actually starting somewhere from here so i need to remove this gap so for that what i'll do is i'll say the date whatever is there here this has to start from here that has to start from this first march to start from this first access value so for that what i'll do is i'll take a minimum value of this date select this enter now convert this into a number i'll get a number here it says 43891 next we'll go to this access select this right click format access here it says 43860 change that to 43891 and say enter see now i'll get the values like that now i've got the horizontal bars here with number of days with the dates here now if you want to have this the thickness of this bar to be increased right click and say format data series and you can adjust this gap width a little more so that the width of this say the height or say the thickness of this bar will be increased right suppose if you want to have a data label select this click and say add data labels we'll get the data labels here fine this is the simple way of creating the gantt chart now we'll see a little more complex how to create a gantt chart here i have only the target dates the number of days to complete the task what if i want to see how many days it has taken to complete the task the actual days so for this what we'll do is we'll try and see we have this target days and here i have the actual days taken to complete this task let me copy this 
say task start date target dates and actual dates let this resource be as is this we'll use for only labels i'll copy this let's move towards my right hand side somewhere here and i'll just paste this what i've taken here is we need to do some uh, say adjustments or say some we have to give some dummy values here i have the start date for this target days the so same thing what i'll do is i will copy this and i'll paste it here this value i'll use it for actual days i can use both say target and actual for, uh, with these dates only but it will be a little complex to adjust all your series so what i've done is to make it easy i just copied and pasted here you can still use equals and you can refer it so that any values get changed in my main table that will get changed here as well or for your um, learning purpose i just copied and pasted otherwise you can use equals and refer the main table fine now i prepared the data here so it says start date and this is for the target days start date here not to confuse let's make it as actual and let this be target Talk. done now let's plot the chart for this we'll plot it here itself and then later on we'll take the chart to the main table i'll select this insert and then select the similar kind of stacked bar chart here let me move this here for time being let me reduce the column width so that i'll get more space increase this yes now i have start date for target the target days the start date for actual and actual days select this right click format data series and here go to fill and say no fill select this as well that is start date actual and say no fill now close this now i have only this target days and actual days select one of the series and say change series chart type and then we'll get all the series here with the axis type here so what we'll do is we'll change this start date and the actual days to secondary axis say okay so if you see this now i'll get two different axes one is for the primary axis and another is for secondary axis now i don't have this uh, say vertical axis suppose if you want that what i can do is i'll go here see click on this plus button here i'll get this axis click on this arrow mark you will get secondary vertical axis click here now we got this primary and secondary horizontal axis and vertical axis for primary and secondary so let's make it it is in reverse order we'll make it in a proper order like what we did in our previous chart right click format axis and here we'll say category in reverse order and you can say at maximum category same thing let's select this right click say format axis and say category in reverse order say okay say i've got the primary axis and secondary axis here as well i got both primary and secondary axis let it be as is as i told you this one i have a long gap here i need to fill this same concept i'll use let's say i'll use equals min of this value since i've used the same data here the previous example so i'll be getting the same number here say 438 uh, 4, let me select this access label control one i'll go to this formatting or right click and say format access will come to this uh, you know formatting access i'll mention this as 43891 go here say 43891 and say enter now one access is adjusted for target now the same thing let's do for secondary access as well i'll use this 43891 enter done now my actual and target has been placed here now what we'll do i'll take this target can you see this orange color 
select this right click and say format data series increase the height or say the thickness like this so let's select this actual days and then try to reduce this so that it will be thin if you think that you want to increase further you can increase the thickness like this so, now see now i have this target and actual in different colors with different way of representing now what we'll do is we'll remove this and then we'll remove one of the axes here so i'll get something like this now let me remove this title and the grid lines this is just to make it look little more neat now let me remove this as well or let it keep it like this now let's go back here i have this labels i want these labels to be placed here in this chart so what i'll do is I'll go here i'll just create one more dummy value this is just for labels i'll say zero and let me copy this down convert this into zero right select this chart the chart is created till this range just drag it like this i'll get one more something called as dummy and then what we'll do say we'll go to this format here i have this chart area go to format select the chart go to format here i have this chart area let's select this term. now click here and say data label see i'll get this zero here that is for this series select the data label right click and then say format data label now here it lasts for value and show leader lines so what we'll do is i want a customized labels here so for that we'll say value from cells now i'll select this range and then i'll say okay then remove these two options and let's go and check this in my chart so okay let's take only for one label so we'll select all then select this say okay and let's go and check this see now i have this label now let me remove this value and the leader lines and here i have the label position i'll say inside or outside whatever whichever you feel it looks good say it looks good for inside base i'll keep it as this now i have the label as well now you just see what all um, say legend i need to keep say i don't want this dummy i'll just select this and say delete it and then i don't want this say start date i'll go here one i'll remove if you think that this target is actually you know not uh, looking appropriate then remove this target here here say start date yes now i'll just make it bold and then i'll move this chart towards my main table just move it keep it here like this so reduce this little it will fit in the screen like this yes here is our can chart with target days and actual days now if you want you can still format this and go to this format and put some borders that is left to you you want to make it more elegant to look i'll just give this shadow that's it right so this is how you'll be doing your cant charts hope all of you have like this chart and if you like this video please like share and subscribe so that you'll be getting more interesting videos like this and thank you so much for watching this video please wait for our next interesting videos